Well, after all of our preliminary races, the Bill Roberts Chevrolet Pace Truck will finally roll out. Three features on hand, and we start with the Cedar Creek Beef Jerky USRA Modifieds. What a beautiful truck that is. Bill Roberts Chevrolet just down the road supplies the pace truck for all of our events. And in tow, 18 Modifieds get the field set for you. As John Briggs, the Harrison, Arkansas native and the five-star, first time he has been here this season. He will start on the pole after the redraw. Nick Benninger from Perry, Kansas in the 3B. He has been a feature winner here at Lucas Oil Speedway. He will start outside road number one. Your track champion, Ryan Middaw in the 21M will start inside road number two. He won night one of the Ron Jenkins Memorial. Jason Persley got a good redraw. He will start in fourth. Cameron Grindstaff calls Independence, Missouri home. He starts in fifth. Peyton Phillips in the 127 out of Chinook, Kansas. Still looking for that first win at Lucas Oil Speedway. He starts in sixth. Seventh and eighth goes to Lucas Gibbs and Kerry Davis. Lucas out of Udall, Kansas, and Kerry from Parkville, Missouri. Chad Stouse started out the season in a stock car. He's now in a modified in the C3 starting in ninth. And Kenton Allen, he's running for Rookie of the Year honors in the United States Racing Association. He's out of Chinook, Kansas in the number nine. Chad Lyle and Jeff Cutshaw back in row number six. Ethan Hafner taking over driving duties of the 29 tonight from Newton, Kansas. And Lucas Dobbs in 14th. Rick Beebe doing the same thing. Someone else drove his car last night. He's in the 22B with Tracy Wolf on his south side. And then it's Eric Brady and Brandon Conkerite rounding out the field of 18 cars. Looks as though all of them able to make it out for this 20 lap main. Big payday for the Modifieds. 1,500 bones goes to the winner. Yeah, and they're looking forward to it as they get ready to roll here tonight. It is into three and out of four. 20 laps will decide it as they come around. And green flag flies this time. Nick Vinegar to the outside of John Briggs. Jason Pursley in tow. And Rick Beebe in the 22B didn't get going. As on that original start, he is the victim of a spin, bringing out the early caution. Rick Beebe, the Rocket Man out of Shawnee, Kansas. What a story he has. Ten track championships. Story on the restart, not great though. We'll look back at it as he gets tagged. And brings out the early caution for Rick Beebe. He was back in the old Art Go and ASA days. He actually became the rookie instructor at ASA. A guy by the name, you may have heard of him, Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, Matt Kenseth, kind of household names. He was actually the rookie instructor for those guys a long time ago. See if they can get off to a better start this time, and indeed they will. Nick Vinegar of Perry Kansas in the 3B on the outside. He is off and running. John Briggs, who sits on the pole, Leaves him in the dust. Jason Persley to the outside, and here comes Butt Buck. Ryan Middall, the track champ here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Same thing up at Callaway. He won last night. He is looking to do it again. He's currently number two in the USRA National Point standings, and Rick Beebe again involved in an incident. Lucas Gibbs comes peeling out of there in the 51, and as we said earlier, the 29 of Ethan Hafter. Involved in that, Hafner comes plowing in as Gibbs got spun, and this time Rick Beebe Doug had absolutely nowhere he could go. Yeah, heavy damage on the side of that 29 car also as they roll through, that is Hafner. And uh, like you said, Beebe had nowhere to go. All he could do was in for the ride. So Ethan Hafner did not drive this car last night. Shelby Stuckey did, she was down for the action going on over with the Kentucky Drag Boat Association over at Lake Lucas. She has a drag boat there. Dumping and Pumping, the name of her drag boat. I guess you could say she got dumped out of her car and Ethan Hafner took over. That's right. I think if I had a drag boat, that would be the name of mine. <laughs> well, BB looks like he's going to be coming around, but he is involved in two spins. We'll see how that goes. Normally, the rule is going to head out. Well, not all the time, but it looks like this time he does. And he has 
probably more for the damage on the car than anything else. You see it completely caved in, and that's just an odd spot for that to get bent in the way that it is up on top of the roof. Still have yet to get our first lap in. First of three features. Got the flags out over in the stands. A little early, I'm like you. A little early to be checkered and flagging, but maybe that's their favorite driver. Caution still out on the course as they roll through. Going to get lineup set for the action. Briggs and Vinegar. Vinegar with a great start on that last one, Shane. Going to see if he can do it again. BB comes back. He's got the uh, car fixed. Comes back out for action. So Rick Beebe back out on the track, and they are still looking to get that first lap in the books. Has not officially been put on the board yet. They're heading down that back straightaway into three and out of turn number four, Briggs. The Harrison, Arkansas, number five. Vinegar, the 3B from Perry, Kansas. Green flag start. No. Vinegar shot again, this time Ryan Middaw to the inside. This is where Ryan Middaw really kind of proved his worth last night on a track where there was not a lot of ground that had gotten rubbered up. He found the tackiness. In one lap, you're on it. In the next lap, you're not. He is in search of it right now. Going down lower on the track, Jason personally one roof higher. Well out in front now. Side by side continues to be the battle for a second with Ryan Middall to the inside. It is the 21 and the 38. Jason personally, we talked about not having a good heat race, but he has come back. He is up in the top three for the main here tonight, but it is the 21. That is Ryan Middall as they go through here tonight. Your leader, of course, is the three. That is Nick Vinegar. Vinegar, the Perry, Kansas native. Coming around here in that four spot, it belongs to uh, Ryan. It belongs to Jason personally, personally in third. And as they roll through here now, the battle continues. That is Grindstaff, the 14, Cameron Grindstaff from Independence, Missouri. He is battling with the 127. That is Peyton Phillips, Peyton Phillips, Chanute, Kansas. As they roll through here, battling for that four spot. Phillips in fourth, Brightstaff now in fifth, and Gary Davis has jumped up to sixth. And then Vinegar with a 2.2 second advantage over Ryan Middall. Ryan Middall may need to have the assistance of the caution if he's going to have any shot at Nick Vinegar right now as the 3B is on rails. Three time winner this year, Lucas Oil Speedway. He won during the Spring Nationals. One on Thursday night, Thunder. Won nine total times after a win at the side. He has six wins up there, three wins here at Lucas Oil Speedway, looking for a championship at the Lakeside where he has been a champ seven times. Battle for that four spot as they come around here. It is the 14 of Grindstaff. Personally off the point as they come through. He's in third. Now here comes Cameron Grindstaff. Grindstaff, the uh, 14, looks to the inside of Personally. That is for position. Personally in third, Grindstaff in fourth. Kerry Davis now joining the party as they come around this time. Look at the tank underneath Grindstaff. We, early on in the year and over the last few years, have not seen a lot of Kerry Davis in that 68. Now that he has been coming in here more on a regular basis. We've seen him here a handful of times. Really impressed, impressed on how well he can handle the car. He battled with Nick Vinegar a couple of weeks ago. Now he is still running up to the top five right now. Out in front of Middall, personally, right step, Terry Davis, now sits at fifth. Personally, still on that high side as they come around in that third spot. Brian Step, look at the take, cannot so far from Jason. Personally, we're halfway through this A main event as they roll through. Vinegar still on top of Perry, Kansas, number three. Jason, personally, high wide, handsome. 
off of that turn, nearly scraped the wall. The superintendent down at Skyline High School in Urbana, probably about a 30 minute drive from here. Stopped by his car hauler just to give him a little bit of grief. We had a big show a couple of weeks ago, the SRX, where we had a record setting attendance here of 8,000. That was Meet the Teacher Night at Skyline. Their FFA was supposed to be the 50-50 group coming in to sell 50-50 tickets and raise money. They didn't show up. Can you imagine the pocketbook, the check, the cash they would have taken home with 8,000 people all buying 50-50 tickets? It's personally, again, really rubbing the outside of the wall coming off the turn number four. Yeah, as they roll through, that is Nick Vinegar. Vinegar, your leader, getting around that four-car Brady as they roll through. In that second spot, it is the 21. That is Ryan Bidoff. Bidoff way back as he just shows up on the straightaway, almost a straightaway lead for the three car of Nick Benninger as we have five to go. Five more times around for Nick Benninger. That's the lead Ryan Bidoff by 3.3 seconds. He's caught up with lap traffic, and Rick Beebe will be the next to go a lap down. Tracy Wolf. Jeopardy of going a lap down as well as Nick Vinegar has caught the tail end of the pack. Jason Persley was running in fourth, and now Perry Davis has gotten the inside of him. Perry Davis will jump up and take P4 away from Jason Persley. Persley just looking to hang on to a top five finish. to the bottom, firstly to the top. There's a lot of laps getting put on this track. Completely select over. Some drivers love a track like this, some don't. Right now, Jason Pursley is trying to find some type of grip to catch back up with Kerry Davis and stay away from Jeff Cutshaw. Cutshaw in the 98 is seven-time champ. He won four straight. Lucas Oil Speedway in the Modified Division. Got out of it for a little while. Served as a mentor to a handful of drivers. Now has decided to come back with one to go. Jeff Cutshaw's best finish was on some of the biggest stages. He did it at Show Me 100, and now he's looking to do it at the Ron Jenkins Memorial. Nick Vinegar, he likes to perform on the big stage as well. He will do it again. One when the MLRA came in for the Spring Nationals, and he'll win again at the Ron Jenkins Memorial. Tenth win of the season for the Perry, Kansas native. Nick Bittinger will park it in victory lane after a win leading it. Nearly every single lap over Ryan Middall. The rest of your top ten, Cameron Grindstaff in third, Kerry Davis in fourth. Jason Persley did hold off Jeff Cutshaw for fifth. Jeff finishing in sixth, Peyton Phillips in seventh. John Briggs started on the pole, ends up in eighth. Kenton Allen ninth, and a good run for Chad Staus as he rounds out your top 10. Look at the rest of your leaderboard. All you